The single biggest individual thing that we would have to take to Mars with a crew of four, let's say, would be something between 25 and 30 metric tons of oxygen. What for? Well, not as people think. You know, for astronauts to, bleed, to breathe, that's easy. That's the easy part. The main thing you need oxygen for is for the rocket that's going to take them back up from the surface to come back to Earth for that rocket to breathe, because rockets, rocket fuel needs oxygen to burn as well, and it needs a lot of it. interplanetary mission from the west coast and NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. and even some grass, and with that combination of foliage region. The process that MOXIE is going to use is called solid oxide electrolysis. And electrolysis just means splitting apart using electricity. Carbon dioxide makes up 95% of Mars's atmosphere. So it's a great natural resource. What we want to do is split that molecule, that carbon dioxide molecule apart, so we can release the oxygen. Moxie, if you will, is a mechanical tree. Uh, if we could put, you know, trees on Mars and, and put a big dome over them and harness the oxygen, uh, that would be a great way to do this. And, you know, it's, it's free, essentially. It's, a, it, it's solar powered. Trees are solar powered, right? Um, we can't. That's obviously not practical. So the next best thing is to build a mechanical device that does the same thing a tree does, which is to take in CO2 run it through a complicated chemical process and produce, among other things, oxygen. It would keep a small dog alive, okay? To keep you and you and you and me alive uh, when we're sitting quietly is probably more like 20 grams an hour. So that gives you some relevance. Uh, what we will need to make on Mars to successfully prepare for the arrival of a human crew will be more like two to three kilograms, two to three thousand grams an hour, not 10 grams an hour. within our grasp. In our lifetime, we actually can see humans land and work on Mars. A major step in this direction of planning has been the definition of what we call human exploration zones. This is a region we will land, we will live, we will use resources in many different ways, and we want to go to a variety of scientifically exciting... MOXIE is one example of in-situ resource utilization technology. What that means is instead of taking everything with you from Earth, you make use 
of resources at your destination. And that really changes how you think about exploring space because it means you don't have to launch very heavy, very expensive uh, rockets from Earth. You can take advantage of the resources at your destination. More recently, in the last year or so, there's been a change in direction, certainly within NASA, uh, towards focusing on going to the moon first. So this is now my own in, in, in personal impression, is that we just pushed Mars back by a decade or so. Uh, 